What's up, guys? Now, uh, I'm still new to the stand-up comedy thing. So coming to my shows is a lot like having me in your bedroom. People coming with low expectations and are still disappointed. And I can't do an hour. Now, all of you have gotten a chance to look at me and, you know, judge me silently. I'm sure you've all seen this. Counting down to the point where I'm so bald, it looks like my head belongs on a fucking pool table rather than the stage. Counting to the point of baldness where I'm going to face two choices in my life. One, I'm going to have to hit the gym hard and get a bunch of tattoos that don't mean anything. And two, I'm going to keep wearing polos and look like I have to register when I move. <laughs> Now, I know I might look like a guy who's a frequent member of a strip club. I'm not. I just don't like the concept of giving the strippers money, you know, making it rain. I want to be so rich that I can afford one day to take one of those wads of cash that you see in gangster movies, line up to the mound in front of the stage, and just Bob gets in that shit. I want the strippers to go home that night like, Red's covered for the next year, but it hurt. <laughs> All I know is three strikes and you're out is not equivalent to in the strip club. You throw a heater and a dancer on stage, and it's one strike you're out of the old strip club. <laughs> if you've learned anything from that last joke, you said I'm not physically responsible at all. I donate plasma. That's fantastic. Nothing says winter like having a needle in your arm for $30 a visit. I don't know what plasma is, but I know when you can keep it if I had left. The other night I woke up and my bones felt cold, and I could smell colors. So either I'm becoming the world's latest superhero, or I need to cut back a bit. Early I broke, you guys. I moved in with this one uh, blind girl I went to the grocery store with, and my parents took me out. Looking back at it, I don't even think she knew that I was crashing at her place. She just thought it was haunted. I think the thing that really pissed her off the most is the ghost wouldn't get a job and kept eating all of her toaster strudels. <sighs> Man, I must be killed because it's fucking dead in here.
up my Alexa, I accidentally said it to German, and I asked her, hey Alexa, where can I get sushi? And she responded with, we even asked questions. God damn, Alexa, two wrongs don't make a right. I'm really glad I had this technology available to what it used to be. Like, it wouldn't have worked if I tried to do stand-up comedy like back in the old times. Walk up to someone with a joke, be like, hey, you're about a Zan who went to the doctor with an infected funny bone? Yeah, they had to take the limb. If that didn't make you laugh, it's not my fault. Nothing was fucking funny back then. Honestly, everything was different. It didn't have to do with this whole new woke society everyone's on about. I really want to see that new Star Wars movie, but with that whole society, I'm worried about them introducing new characters like Me Too, Me Too. PC 3 po Heard Obi Wan T was going to have a lot of problems fighting for Republican kids. All I'm saying is I'm looking forward to the X Wings fighting with the Lost Wings. The reason I really like Star Wars is because uh, C3PO is actually autistic like myself. No one can be that smart and that awkward at the same time and not have autism. Like I said, I have autism, which means my form of communication is equivalent to someone leaving a like on Facebook on a traumatic event. Actually, they call us Aspies, which I think is adorable. It sounds like something you find at the kids' choice awards. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, the ask me for making things awkward for the use of inappropriate comments goes to Alex Blodgett. That's my name. That's my time. Thank you, guys.